Melbourne journey. And can you tell us why, how, when, how much all of that spirulina, you spirulina yep. in your program? Yep. Well, spirulina is actually not technically allowed on Gerson therapy. It's not by the book. So people that are doing Gerson therapy out of the book shouldn't really have it. But because I've been on Gerson therapy for so long, I think at about the 18-month mark, I started introducing spirulina. Okay. Um, my Gerson doctor gave me the all clear to do it, just because my bloods were doing so well, and we thought that it would probably benefit me rather than take away. So I have about a teaspoon a day, just in the morning, my first green juice. Okay. And you just, add it to the yeah, juice? Yes, just add it to Perfect. my green juice, um, yeah. or a green smoothie, if I, if I have a green smoothie now and then. Okay. But yeah, it just gives me a lot of energy. Yes. Um, and it tastes so good, it, doesn't yes, it? Yes, and it's it not fishy like the others. No. <laughs> which is why I love it. It's creamy. Yeah, it does. It's it creamy. Fish. Yeah, <laughs> and they're beautiful people. And yeah. it's Hawaiian. <laughs> and you all know how much Jim and I love Hawaiian. So Hawaiian Pacifica Spirulina. And yeah. if you want to know where you can get it, check out our websites. It's all there. <laughs> Two years on Gerson now, Jessica. And... You've still got this beautiful yep. arm, yes. and so how are you feeling now? I feel amazing. I, I have so much more energy than I did before I was diagnosed with cancer, and it, it wasn't the cancer, it was just because my body was just not as good as it could be. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, basically I've gone way past what the doctors told me I would make it, I've kept my arm. <laughs> and now I, I definitely know that I'm going to live longer now than I probably would have beforehand. Beautiful. With or without cancer. Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing your, your journey today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>